Hey, I got a pretty niche trick to share this time around. Uh, it's for generating world world style tripod, mega horn, tonal brassy blasts. I realize that's a bit of a mouthful, uh, but you get the idea. This is like uh, the applications for kind of few and far between, but I found it's just like fun to do and you can apply the principles to other like tonal processing as well. For the example, we're gonna be using this trombone sample I recorded a while ago. That's a Berkeley education put to use right there. Uh, <laughs> I like this last variation in particular. It sounds almost like it's clipping the microphone, but it's just like me playing this terrible technique. Um, to start out, I'm gonna like stretch it out down to about half rate thereabouts. I mean, that's already sounding pretty cool. This isn't recorded with the Sankin or any special microphone, by the way. It's just, uh, you can see it's like all mid-range content. Um, so don't worry about spending like $3,000 to get this sort of source material. And you can, by the way, you can use this on like contact instruments, works, and whale songs, metal groans, really slow bird calls, you name it. Uh, it doesn't have to be a brass instrument in particular. Uh, I'm leaving Pro-L on at the end the whole time just for safety purposes, but we're gonna start out the chain with Subsynth. You can hear it's just generating some subharmonics. Uh, I'm gonna dial it back a little bit to like 30%. There'll be more sub to come later on, but I think that's a good starting point. I'm using phase distortion to generate harmonics from those subs, uh, sub frequencies we just generated. Well, too much of it would be like this. I'm just gonna dial it back a bit. Um, and then follow that up with some more subs from root one. Now that's getting beefy. And yet again, I'm gonna distort that a little bit more with Filter Freak. Uh, the input's being driven pretty hard and it's on the dirt setting because that's my favorite one. Um, and then there's also like a low pass filter that's doing the like talking valley thing by having some random modulation that's moving it up and down. Um, very farty, nice. I'm following that up with timeless. Uh, this is to do some sort of like flanging. It's set to 19, about 20 milliseconds there. Uh, doing like comb filter with like very, very, very subtle modulation. You can see there's only that much. It sounds like this. Also, it's a tiny bit of stereo width and interest, which is pretty cool. Following that with vintage verb. I know reverb makes everything sound better, so it's a little bit cheating, but uh, for these types of sounds, they like really benefit from some tasteful dark reverb happening. Following that with Spectre for low end uh, enhancement, sort of like bring out the mids a little bit more. Just gives it more presence. Uh, and then Brainworks Control for collapsing uh, some of those sub frequencies down to mono, and then overall bring the stereo width down to 87%. Boy, we are like starting to clip already. I'm going to turn down the gain a little bit. Uh, Gullfoss to tame some of the uh, frequencies that poke out a little bit. I'm doing a little bit of recovery, but mostly it's taming. Um, and then soothe for the same purpose. Sometimes when Filter Freak really opens up, those mid-rangey uh, frequencies really poke out, and these are just to like catch those before they can become a problem. And that's basically the whole rack. Uh, thanks for listening, and let me know if there's anything I glazed over that deserves more explanation.